right, so today the barbell conventional straight bar deadlift is one of my favorite exercises and it's probably the behemoth of exercises online and in the fitness world. But the sad thing is that a lot of people do this incorrectly and for me I believe that it starts all from the ground up. So before you even do straight bar deadlifts, can you touch your toes with your knees locked out without any kind of, you know, doing one of these things to get down there? If you can't, this is probably not the best exercise for you. Elevate it, go to a trap bar instead, and build your way up to this. Now, if you are able to touch your toes, you've been deadlifting for a while, this is where you're gonna start. Now, after we figured out that you have the range of motion necessary to do this exercise, the setup is crucial to your success. I tell my clients if you wanna get right up against the bar, maybe an inch or two away from the bar to your shins, that when you reach down, the shins are gonna now meet the bar. So, for foot position, it is very individual. Some people will go a little bit wider, some people will go a little bit closer, but you don't want to be too wide. Remember, this is a power generating exercise. If I were to tell you to jump as high as possible to the ceiling, I wouldn't get you in this position. You'd get your feet together a little bit closer and then you're going to jump up as high as possible. So same idea here, find a foot position that's not too wide, reach down for the barbell, meet shin to the barbell, and I want you to grip tight super tight that you almost want to think of bending the bar in half to get your lats engaged. You want to twist and create tension as much as possible. The more you can grip with your hand, the better. Now from here, with that grip, I want you to think of pushing your feet out as you initiate the lift. That's going to turn on those hip stabilizers here to help you generate power through the hips. Now with all that together, you're gonna grip tight, keep the chest tight, keep the neck pack back down, and you drive up and then back down. Now I did mention my neck. You wanna not come up here into the extension. You wanna keep your neck neutral and back. So when you go down there, your head's neutral and not up here. That's not gonna feel good. That shortens all this up and also plays around with the nerves in your spinal cord that you don't wanna do. So, keeping all that in mind, squeezing tight, driving up, lock out at the top, and back down. Now, the other thing I want you to think of is when you get through the hip motion to the top, you want to squeeze these bad boys to keep this locked out. With all that put together, your deadlift will look amazing. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out.